Just steer me out, will you, please? Two minutes, that's all I want. You've got one minute. Uh, firstly, Ian, I just want you to know how sorry I am about me and Lucy. I do, I wish it had never happened. No, Max, you wish you'd never got caught. You'd do it again in a heartbeat. Well, all I can do is apologise, Ian, and hope you know how much I mean it. Why now? Uh, cos Peter and Lauren started seeing each other again and they didn't want to tell you cos of me. We well, never did have good taste in women. Well, I think we owe it to them, Ian, to try and find a way forward, that's all. It won't last. Ian, you've made mistakes, haven't you? You've, you've done things you regret. You know, what about Denise? You've spoken to her since you've been back. Don't try and drag me down to your level. No, well, I'm just saying, none of us are perfect, are we, Ian? I won't stop them from seeing each other. Tell them that. Well, why don't you tell them yourself? We're going up to Vic later, so... You can join us if you want. Give him a brief update, see if he has any questions, then get out of there. OK. Oh, and should I mention you the... You are not going to say anything. Now, I know you feel you've got a good relationship with the Beals, but just keep your mouth shut, will you? Do I? Uh, D.I. Keeble, this is... Max Browning. I know. We go way back. <sighs> Didn't quite put it like that. You were sleeping with the deceased, weren't you? And D.I. Keeble is working on the Lucy Beale case with me. Yeah, well, they needed someone who knows what they're doing to keep an eye on things. Come on. 